Hey guys, um, bringing you another video of my jigs today. Just basically what trailers I like, my favorite like type of jig, uh, favorite brand of jig, you know, just stuff like that. So let's get in. Um, I'll start with the jigs first. Um, I like to keep, you know, 16 or 17 jigs in here, and then I've got a couple trailers. Um, down here, I keep peanut butter and jelly in my black and blues, and then just some hodgepodge of colors up here. So I'll start up here. This is a Terminator Pro Series jig. I use these for flipping. Um... Here's another one. These are in half ounce, by the way. It's with just a uh, zoom super chunk on. Uh, the trailer color is root beer pepper green. Right here we got a Terminator football jig. Just in green pumpkin. I like these jigs. They're pretty good. Half ounce. Here's a little finesse jig. I really don't know what this, that is. Um, here's a Pepper Custom Baits finesse jig. Hold on. Pretty good. These are more of a casting jig, but it almost looks like a football head. Really nice skirts on there. Um, a lot of strands. Really uh, detailed. Then we got a uh, Picasso fantasy football head jig. I like these jigs. Um, it's only got a nice uh, kind of feel on the top of the jig. I don't know if you can see that kind of reflecting. Um, that probably helps the vibration and just overall not getting hung. Got a little rage curl on there. Not as many strands as most other jigs, but, I mean, I guess that's all right. Here's a uh, another Pepper Customs. This is just a regular casting jig and three-eighths. The finesse jigs are in one-fourth. This is a Chartreuse Pumpkin Rage Car Trailer. It goes pretty good with that. Here's just an old Arky head jig. I'll have to use this for skipping, if I, do, if I ever do any skipping. Here's a Chompers jig. Um, this one's in Davenport Special, brown and green flash. I really like these jigs. These are becoming my new favorite jigs. Um, got a really nice hook on there. And uh, nice skirts, good weed guard. And the paint doesn't really, it's hard to chip it off from the head. So that's pretty good. Um, just got a little vibrating jig, uh, cheddar bait in here, most of you know that. Then we'll move on to the green pumpkins down here. This is a, uh, chompers jig, PB&J. Uh... Strike King, football head. My favorite jig probably to fish is a football head. Um, chompers jig, pepper custom baits, finesse jig, one fourth. Here's the black and blues. Got a Demiki Baits Mamba jig. I actually really like these, but they're a little overpriced. But you're just paying for you know, quality. The skirt on these, it's so thick and it makes it really look realistic in the water. Picasso bait spider jig. Um, Terminator Pro Series, 3 4 ounce jig. That's actually a Trigger X bug on the back. 
Pepper Custom Finesse Jig, one fourth Terminator Pro Series, one uh, half ounce. Okay, um, now that I've got the jigs down, I'll move over to um, what trailers I like to use. This is my tubes, grubs, and uh, cross box. So for the Davenport special, I like to use um, this kind of green pumpkin speckle. Green pumpkin, green speck trailer. That works out really nice. Um, one thing about chompers is they stink, but it helps. When you're fishing out there and you need those key bites, that scent lures them in. For PB&J, um, I use Green Pumpkin Purple Flake. Pretty good. Um, for those Pro Series, I use the Trigger X. I don't know what this one's called. Um, you can see it up there. Nope. Um, Cheer Crawl is always good. This is in watermelon candy. Um, the Deuce by Havoc in black. I like to use that. And then um, I use this one on the uh, Casso uh, Fantasy Football Head Jig. It's a skirted grub and green pumpkin, and that works out really good since the uh, fantasy football head doesn't have as many strands of skirt as the other ones. So that's pretty much those. Um, I'll show you my rod that I use here for jigs. Got a loose speed spool on there, 15 pound fluorocarbon. That's just another one of those Davenport special jigs. Um, then we got a 7.3 heavy Ducket Ghost series rod. It's new and I love it. Um, really nice, super light. With this loose, you know, this low profile reel, um, it works out really good. So, uh, yeah, thanks for watching. Um, be sure to rate, comment, and subscribe. Um, see you later.